morning, friends. I'm grumpy. I'm tired. I'm grumpy. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyways, oh, I've got to sneeze again. <coughs> oh. I set my alarm for 5.30 this, this morning for like a year. I used to get up at 5 o'clock right on the dot without an alarm clock and get up and even have supper all made before the kids even went off to school. And I'm trying to get back to that, but, you know, my video yesterday, yeah, my hair's a mess. I had a shower uh, yesterday, but it's all fuzzy now. I hit snooze, and I just, I know last night I talked about I want to get some quality sleep, and this is why, because I'm grumpy. Thank goodness the kids are all still asleep. I did wake up Maziah and Misha, um, Maziah and Mally, because they're going to day camp today. Take a breath, Tracy, take a breath. And my eldest daughter's going to come over and get them around 8 o'clock to take them to day camp. But my teenager's here to watch the other kids, and I'm letting them all slumber. So, yeah. My husband's in there. I'm waiting for him. I want to say he's dilly-dallying, but that's just me being a grouch. But I want to get on the road. I even put my sleep mask in my bag, because if I get really sleepy, I'm putting that on and I'm sleeping. So... Anyways, I'm not trying to wake up in a grumpy mood. I'm just tired and I want to still be sleeping. <laughs> I'm not mad at anybody. I just want to still be in, you know, in my nice cold room instead of this muggy outside right now. Not a big deal, but we're going to spend the day together and I am going to turn this frown upside down. Don't worry about that. All right, guys, I'm feeling a little better, but we just turned into Tim Hortons, so... Yeah, my husband's going to treat me to a extra large coffee with an espresso shot. Do you have cash? No, I don't. <laughs> well, that coffee was delicious. We just stopped in Colebrook to have a pit stop. I bought another, um, where is it? I stuck it in my bra. Where is it? Oh. Phone charger cord, because my cord, I had my phone charging all night, and it was still at 2%, and it's just wonky, so... <clears throat> I'll pay the $5.99 for another cord. <laughs> My husband's just in there paying, and uh, then we're hitting the road again. All right, guys, well, we're to Halifax, and I'm just gonna go into my appointment, and we'll see see what they say. So I'll keep you updated, and yeah, hopefully this giant contact comes out of my eye. And my eye's yellow, they put some dye in it freezing stuff so I'm just sitting in the lounge again for about 10 minutes and they're going to bring me back in. <clears throat> okay, my appointment went well. They took the contacts out. I don't have to do the antibiotic drops anymore, um, but I do have to do the lubricating drops on a regular basis, which is fine. I still have some pain medication if need be. I have an appointment in three weeks, so it's all good. And my vision is almost 20-20, she said. It's really good. So, you know, it's going to continue to heal. I'm excited about that. I really am. I'm perfect to find, uh, perfectly fine to drive whenever, however long. She said just be a little careful at night if you're in an unfamiliar area. But, you know, how often do I go to someplace different, right? So I'm not, not worried. But we're going to get something to eat. We haven't eaten today. We're going to find a place that does a big breakfast, but we just won't have the toast or hash browns. But right now, he's in Freedom Cycle. He's going to look at helmets and stuff. I said, I'll be in in a minute. I just want to talk to my friends. So, he, of course, he takes off like a bat out of hell. But I'm going to go in and see what's, see what's going on, if there's any biker people in there or something. But whatever. Anyways, I'll check in and I'll show you where we go for breakfast slash lunch or brunch. Alright guys, well we just came from brunch. I'll show you what we got, but now we're at Costco, so... stuck in the little 
stuck in the little corral. <clears throat> well, we're in Costco now. I haven't been to Costco in years. And yeah, we're just gonna do a little cruising around. I'll pick up a few things. I, I forgot to bring my extra battery for my camera, so I'm just doing little stop-ins. But we ended up going to Boston Pizza for lunch. We thought they might have a breakfast thing. We were the first people there. It was right when they opened. We were actually five minutes before they opened, but they let us come in. And uh, we got some Mediterranean salads, and they were really good. So anyways, I'll check back in a little Well, my husband abandoned me for the restroom, so I'm just exploring. And I'm trying to restrain myself from putting stuff in my, to my car. Because have any of you ever heard of Veggie Tales? It's like a kids kind of Christianity cartoon. Anyways, my kids watch them, or they used to. My older kids. And there's one episode called Madam Blueberry. And she goes to Stuff Mart and she loves to shop and this reminds me of that because there's so much stuff here I want but I know I don't need. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to keep looking around. All right, we're finally at a Costco. That place is so busy. And my husband goes there way more than I do. I haven't been in there for two or three years, honestly. And, yeah. It was about an equal amount of time waiting in line than we spent looking around the whole store. I could have spent all day in there looking and adding stuff up. I got a lot of good stuff. I'll show you when we get home. Kind of a heavy price tag. But what we got was worth it, I think. I really do. Stuff for our family. But right now, my husband's pumping some gas. And there's a Starbucks right there, so I'm getting another cafe mocha. I know it's not keto, but I'm taking advantage. And then we're just gonna cruise home. Uh, yeah, it's hot here though. We're just at the Irving. There's a Starbucks right beside it. But yeah, I love. I really like city life. I liked, enjoyed living in the city, but I love country life. Um, I don't miss the city traffic though. I'm telling you, waiting in lines is not my forte. Ooh, yummy. All right, guys. Well, we stopped in New Minus because we, uh, I forgot to get some super worms for my daughter, for her dragons and stuff. So I know there's a store here. It used to be Pets Unlimited, but I think this is coming to a Okay, thanks. Yeah, so I'm in the, the store now. Look at all the... There's a bun bun. And the birdies. And the more bun buns. Hey, baby. If I could take them all home, I would. And all the fish. This is so calming and relaxing in here. I used to have aquariums, but they're a lot to keep up, so. But they're pretty to visit. Thanks. So pretty, pretty. Well, anyways, my husband's out there parked. I just said I'd run in. But what's in here? Gerbils are a great pet, too. There's a pretty rat. I don't mind rats. I just don't want them running loose in my house. So, yeah. Good shop. Lots of stuff. When I, we had gerbils. I used to love having gerbils. Um, I'd always buy little houses and stuff for them. So cute. Anyways, we got to finish heading home. Well, we just came into the bulk barn next door. My husband wants to get some pistachios. I've never bought anything at the bulk barn before, so I don't know. We'll see. Okay, friends, we made it home, and it was it's quarter after four, so the house isn't a complete disaster. The kids are still upstairs with my oldest son, so I just got the stuff out on the table we got from Costco, and I thought I'll quickly show you, just a sec. So, we got a big box of blue recycle bags. We were completely out. Um, three English cucumbers for $2.99, I think. I forget what all this stuff individually costs, but this was pretty cheap. I think $7.99 for apple cider vinegar with the mother in it, and I drink some every day. Um, 
So I haven't had this kind. It's organic. Um, I usually get Bragg's, but this was more cost efficient, so I'm going to try that. Some dishwashing tablets. A big bag of Tostito rounds. Some of those trays I make freezer meals out of. I got three packages of pitas. Um, let me see. There's 16 English muffins in there. Those were like $4.99 or something. Never had those before, but I thought I'd try them. I know these were $13.99. They're Glade plug-ins, or Airwick, Airwick plug-ins. We've got a big thing of pepperoni my husband got into on the way home. Um, four packages of bacon that come together. I think they're like $16, bucks, but it's good bacon. Um, these are 48 actual cheese slices, not like the craft uh, cheese slices. This is, you know, hard cheese cut up in slices. Some mini portobello mushrooms, some red and yellow peppers, two packages of black forest ham, a big packages, package of um, old fashioned sausages. I'll probably break this up into two bags and freeze them. A big package of all beef wieners. I've seen people cook with this and I've never seen a big tub like in my area and I've seen taco seasoning so yeah I picked up one I think it was like $5.99 or something and two big things of water I went to Sobeys yesterday and they didn't have any left and these were I think $4.99 and there's 40 in a container so not bad I got two my husband got some pistachios at Bulk Burn um, two things of salsa and a big thing of Parmesan cheese and that's what we got so whew, it's warm it's warm and I stopped to that pet there's always a fuzzy in my camera sorry guys does that make any difference I stopped and got two containers of uh, super worms I don't know if you guys know what super worms are but I'll show you if you don't get grossed out but they're cute little things, but they're supper for my grandbaby dragons. There's a hundred in here. But I got two. It's like ten bucks a tub. So I'll bring those over to my daughter later. Or she'll come and get them or whatever. But yeah. There they are. And uh, so they'll be eating happy, healthy, wonderful. So there's some dirty dishes on the counter. I'm not going to worry about it now dishwasher full of clean dishes so when I eventually get to that I can just put the dirty dishes in there and life will be grand so I'm gonna put the stuff away that I need to put a, put away and uh, go check on my baby well something I forgot to mention we picked up one of those mats that are supposed to be very good for your feet I've always wanted one but never picked one up and I see Michelle from chickens by the lake she recommended one too and I'm just like we seen it it was like $24.99 and we picked one up so this is going to motivate me to clean up all those pots over there i keep saying i'm going to move they're clean and pack away for my next canning season and stuff because i'd want it right there in front of the counter beside the stove so yes yeah, very exciting all right guys well my dad just brought the girls over i had a little visit they had a good time. He ended up making them some pineapple pizza, like just one of those frozen papa pizzas. But they wanted pineapple pizza the other day, they said. And he picked it up, and he even sent out the leftovers, which is cool. So they can have that tomorrow, which is, you know, even better for me. <laughs> but right now I'm cruising over to my daughter's house. My husband's outside barbecuing now, but I'm cruising over there to bring her those super worms, and I'm listening to Pearl Jam. We listened to this on the way down from Halifax. That's one of my... Uh, Big albums I used to listen to in the 90s when I was a teenager and I forgot how good that album was so yeah we're gonna cruise over there check out the check out Avi, uh, Avi, Evie and Medea and the dragons to give them their supper and then we'll be back after but I thought I'd let you know what's shaking okay we made it it's warm outside warm warm the kids are outside at home with my husband playing while he's barbecuing and I just want to come and have a little visit Okay, I'm going to feed the dragons. I'm sorry guys, but I'm going to take a, a little bit of you, yeah, but that's the circle of life. So, 
Oh, he knows what's coming. So, let's get a, a handful. I'm holding the camera and doing this at the same time. Is it okay if a little bit of the, the sawdust gets in there? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, they feel funny in my hand. Ah. What are you going to get out of your bowl? Oh, look at that. He was hungry. <laughs> A couple didn't land in the bowl, but he'll still get them, right? Yeah. That was about 10, maybe. Yeah. So, how often do you have to feed these guys? I forget. We feed them every day. Yeah, every day. Yeah, there's some there, too. All right, well, let's go feed Kalua. And look at his. No. There's Evie playing. What a big boy. <laughs> He's smiling and everything. All right, here's the other one. But she's not down by the bowl, so she might not be hungry, but we'll try to feed her. If not, she can eat later. Whew. Evie's watching the Wiggles, or listening to the Wiggles. Let's get another handful. Yeah, let me shut your... There's some treats for ya. We'll see. I'll go put the cover on this. Now everybody's happy. Well, the dragons are happy. There's still lots in there. Gotta wash my hand. I gotta put you guys down so I can put soap on. Okay, we're heading home. I've been here for over an hour. My husband's like, well, are you just coming right back? I said, well, I'll try, but <laughs> I can't just leave, leave Eddie. And I had a nice yak with Kudaya and he's coming over tomorrow she's coming over tomorrow but she'll be good she's getting her car looked at and gonna board the truck so ouch Just oh. listening to Pearl Jam still I keep hitting um better man on that that one that CD it's such a good song Let's see if it'll play in a second but yeah, uh, I was gonna say dad's probably all done barbecuing, but my husband's probably all done barbecuing. Oh, come on. Have any of you guys any Pearl Jam fans? They have a few other albums too, but this is the one, the one I know the best. So oh, I just love his voice. Well, I'm gonna head home, so I'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. Well, I'm home now. Um, I thought I'll end it off doing my usual evening walk around the house. Yeah, that song was called Black, not Better Man. They do have a song called Better Man, but it was called Black. Anyways, there's kids outside playing. Not my kids, but it's nice to hear the. The laughter and stuff of young people in the neighborhood but yeah anyways I had a really really lovely visit with Medea and heavy look forward to tomorrow it's been a very busy day a lot of driving I'm tired my eyes are tired but I think I'm gonna watch a movie with my husband tonight I haven't watched a movie in a while but the movie called split I know it's been out for a while but I've never seen it but I seen a trailer last night about a movie that's coming out I don't know if it's this year or whatever but it's called Mr. Glass and it has Samuel L. Jackson and Bruce Willis who were in the movie Unbreakable probably 10 years ago and the character from Split in it and it also has a lady actress I can't think of her name she's off of American Horror Story and I just love the TV series and she's in it and I'm just like I want to see that movie when it comes out so I thought I'll watch Split so I get to know this character and I'll watch Unbreakable again 
sometime before that movie comes out. So that's my plans for tonight. But right now I'm going to go in. It's about quarter to nine. I'm going to get the girls to bed because they got camp and vacation Bible school tomorrow. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the rest of the day tomorrow will be like. But thanks for tagging along with me today and my husband today. Um, it was nice to go to Costco. It was crazy busy though. Crazy. And I, he said it's like that every time. I'm just not used to going to Costco because I don't go to Halifax very often. But I think I'll go there again in three weeks when I have my other appointment. And it's for 10 o'clock in the morning that day. So, And I can probably just cruise up myself unless my husband wants to come or if he's not doing anything. Or it's hard to say. But I'll go and pick up a few of the other things. I wanted to get a big bag, like a big 20 kg bag of flour. But I thought I'll get that later on in the summer. Because not that I'm baking in the summer, but I'll, I like to bake and all that kind of stuff in, when the fall comes. So <clears throat> I'll have that for my storage. I still have my home canned flour in the basement, but I don't want to bust into that yet. That's for emergencies. So anyways, yeah. <clears throat> But it really reminded me of that Veggie Tale movie with Madame Blueberry. If you guys know what I'm talking about, uh, she keeps buying and buying and buying, and it's about material stuff. You don't need material stuff to be happy, and it's true, you don't. But she gets so much. She lives in a tree house, and the tree tips over. And anyways, it's a lesson learned. You know, the things that are important in life are not things that you buy with money, and that's absolutely true. And I try to live my life every day like that. But I'm telling you today, going up and down those aisles. It doesn't take long to fill up a cart, and I could have kept filling and filling, but anyways, yeah. Oh, I'm just looking at this cute little mushroom in my yard. We need to clip the grass. Can you see that? Little mushroom. Anyways, guys, I want to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, but if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. So, yeah, <clears throat> come back tomorrow if you feel like it. If you're hot and you don't feel like doing anything, come spend the day with me. So, all right, guys, well, you have a good evening, because I'm going to have a good evening, and we'll have a good evening together. Okay, guys, see you later. Bye. Boink.